this is a pergola in the background or pergola it's a really nice addition to any garden it gives structure focus atmosphere it extends usually the house out into the garden and the garden back into the house worth considering this one has a wisteria that's been trained over the top of it and in springtime when the flowers come down through the pergola these long racemes of pastel beauty it really is quite breathtaking it's midwinter that's the time you should think uh, time to get the wisteria prune midwinter and midsummer so whether you're in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere it's the first of july and the first of december for a midwinter and a midsummer prune wisteria has two types of wood see this long slender lean smooth wood that's its growing wood or its vegetative wood it, it doesn't have flowers on it but it creates the structure of the the plant the second type of wood is this see this is more gnarly it's got a lot more buds on it this is a fruiting spur or a fruiting wood so this structural piece doesn't have any flowers on it and then these little gnarly bits with all the little buds on them that's a fruiting one the winter prune for wisteria means that you cutting back any canes that are just growing upwards as you can see this wisteria has been trained to grow across the pergola and to have the flowers hanging down through the pergola a wisteria is a climbing plant and it wants to grow up into the trees and hook itself up and grow up and up and up you are a gardener and you want it to grow horizontally so basically that's the rules of the uh, battle between you and a wisteria stuff that's growing up you need to either cut it or pin it this is a long whippy cane and I've got two options here either I can pin it down to this part of the pergola using these little ties here and that would give us more coverage or I can trim it off seeing as though we already have pretty good coverage here I'm going to trim it off here are two types of wood this little spur here is a flowering spur you can see it's a bit more gnarly not quite so smooth and there are lots of little buds on it this one here is the vegetative framework kind of wood and see how long and whippy it is it's trying to increase the coverage of the plant so this one just leave it as it is and this one here bring it back to just two or three buds and trim it off see just those couple of buds there and hopefully we'll force it to become uh, a flowering wood make sure you keep it well away from the house by cutting it back otherwise it'll get in underneath those uh, gutters and they'll just split the gutter apart be careful with the little buds here actually the flowering buds are quite brittle on a wisteria and so as you're brushing up against them doing this pruning it's quite easy just to snap them off now the pruning's over you can see all the long whippy willowy kind of growth has all been trimmed back they've all been trimmed down to just one or two buds at the at their base some of the branches have been tied down to the pergola structure to keep them nice and tight and close so that uh, when they do have flowers they will fall down below the pergola level the pruning is now finished pergola looks tidy we've stopped the wisteria vine from colonizing the whole house and we brought it down so that we're, we're going to have lots of flowers and the flowers will be where we want them just at the level of the pergola and hanging down through it so we're really ready for springtime 
I'll come back in springtime and we'll have another look at it there to see how that's looked. We'll also come back in summertime to see what the interim summertime pruning looks like. So if you're interested, keep in touch, subscribe and check back and, uh, to see the progress of this wisteria. Happy gardening.